Hey, Thomas from Field Tennis. I've been wanting to make a video on how to aim in tennis for quite a while. I have uh, everything ready in my notes. I wanted to record it and it just so happened that I had a lesson with Mike and this topic came up and I think I explained it pretty well during the lesson. So I'm going to use the footage from the lesson for this video. So the idea is that when I'm aiming, when I'm about to hit the shot, I have a certain mental image of how I want to aim. So there are three main concepts. I have a lane, like a line from my contact to the target, which is like very narrow, quite detailed. I know how I want the ball to spin and I have a window above the net through which I aim. So the reason why I think this video is very important for you is because when I discuss this with my clients and I explain to them how I aim and how they should aim, they all say, I don't aim like that. And I think it's very important to picture the shot in the right way for one reason for consistency so that you know at what height you're playing that you clear the net at the right margin and secondly your technique is also going to adjust in such a way to accomplish this idea that you have in mind so I explain this in more detail in the video I would also like to thank Mike for letting me use this video for public YouTube so without further ado, jump in. It's about 20 minutes long. And uh, if you have any questions about this, it's maybe quite an interesting, complex topic. You know, just jump in the comments below and uh, ask me and I will do my best to answer as soon as I can. Let's say I'm hitting a forehand here. Straight. Mm -hmm. I see, I'm gonna use this line. I see something like this, about this, this wide, exactly this wide. Mm -hmm. I see this wherever I want to hit. It goes all the way from my contact to the target area. This important to you? It's okay. I, I spent some time here. We're talking about tactics. No, no, yeah, right? it is. This is teaching the player how to play tennis, you know? Yeah. Your forehand follow through is 100 times less important than this concept, the understanding how do you play tennis. If I'm, wherever you want, if I'm aiming at the ball area, right? So I have this big spread area. I know it's a spread. I know where's the bullseye. So the bullseye is where the ball is. But from my contact, if I'm aiming right now that way, I see this whole track. In your mind's eye. Yes. And I'm trying to guide the ball because I'm bowling in the air. If you're bowling, you have a lane and there are pins or it's just one pin. You have a lane and you're going. See, this one would have been pretty good. So how do I ensure that I have a good accuracy when I'm, or precision when I'm bowling? Long. It's very intuitive, long, right? I am not, every, basically every person is gonna do like this and not like this. Yeah. Surely, right? But why do we have to teach so many players stay with the ball, go long with the ball, right? Because they don't see this, they whack. They whack the ball and they see 100 square meters of the space to hit into and that's why they whack. So your technique is also a consequence of your mental image. How do you visualize the stroke, right? So if you visualize a stroke that you have a lane or a path from the contact to the ball, and I know I can see that this path leads to the ball, then I'm going to try and... Yeah. Now I just do it in the air. I do it in the air. That's why I'm extending and I'm staying in the line and my, and my body is not rotating. So some players are gonna do like this. Well, they don't see the line. How am I gonna rotate my body? If I, you know, I'm gonna rotate 
proportionally got he not, right so I see a line uh, not a line a path so I'm going so when the ball is coming in some way into this and I'm even if I'm like here I'm here and the ball is coming like this I'm coming like this I'm already lining up my shot everything is lining up according to this path that's why backswing is the way it is that's why I don't go here why should I go here if I have to go in the path I'm lining myself mm -hmm. for the path yeah right so if I'm here coming like here and I'm lining the racket in this plane in the path and I'm putting it behind the ball and I'm going there and then I see where it goes trial and error and the next one I try to aim a little bit more to the right and so on and I keep going So obviously this path is very small, I won't hit it, but I know I'll hit the spread, yeah. which is good enough. And since I know I'll hit the spread, then I can go a bit faster. But I still aim, I still have a very good long extension to give me as good precision as I can get it. So in your mind, even shrink the circle even more. In my mind, I'm aiming in the path. You're aiming in the tracks. But I know I won't get it much. Right. So but you won't miss by much. So I won't still miss stay by much the, because... In your zone there. Because I feel this as I'm hitting the ball, I feel this long in the path and I feel I am pretty... I have communicated my desire to the ball pretty well. Okay. So now if I'm hitting cross court, I see a linear path because... For a player, typically, they might see a down the line is a line in their mind. Down the line is a line. But cross court, I just turn my racket face there and they don't see a line. They see I come on this side of the ball and I whack it that way. I always see a line. Okay. For me, every shot is down the line. Every shot is down the line. I just align differently to this shot and now I'm hitting down the line along this path there and not around the corner of the ball this way it's very inaccurate if not precise so the line being the tracks the lines the tracks, the tracks yes I see the tracks so I'm coming to the ball and I'm already lining up everything is lining up so that I'm gonna go in this track and along the track I'm going to send the ball there and that's what then also creates my technique it's how I visualize the stroke how I want the ball to fly then affects how I execute it if I don't see the line then I can just whack then I say oh tennis is difficult I didn't hit it and you keep trying and you keep whacking and through practice you're gonna get these angles a little bit better but not as good as someone who sees the line All right okay. okay so I see a railroad track and it's about this big so it's just exactly the size of the doubles alley and I'm taking this railroad track this doubles alley everywhere on the court with me so if I'm going for an inside out forehand and I'm gonna play there I see a, a line and I align on this side and I go along the line that way and now you start to see oh why do tennis strokes look like this why does Alcaraz have this long extension Because he's sending the ball along the line, mentally, visually. Is it good to like practice almost like... Yeah, doubles rally, alley is good. Yeah. And now we have eight minutes, I'm going to do chapter two. Or, there are three. So the first one is line concept. I have a line. I have a line. Then the next concept I have in mind is that 
as I will hit along this line, I want the ball to spin exactly around horizontal axis. I don't want any angle. I want to spin the ball exactly like this. Okay. Right? So if someone is doing a forehand like this, mm -hmm. do you think they have this in mind if they're doing forehand like this? Because this ball is not spinning on this axis. They're pulling like this across, so it's spinning like this. Okay. And because they have the wrong mental image of how they want the ball to behave in the flight, they have the wrong technique. And you will not correct their technique if you don't change their mental image of how the ball needs to behave in the flight. Because the reason why my technique is this, like how it is, is because it's trying to accomplish the task I have given to it. And I have given it a very precise description of the task I want, which is I want to send the ball along this lane, bowling lane in space, and I want this spin. Exactly this spin. So I'm coming to the ball. And now as I'm hitting the ball, I am picturing that I don't close the racket, that I don't tilt that, that I go and I spin the ball exactly around this axis and this is what then makes my technique how it is it's not just mechanical but I want to spin like this along this axis so if someone is doing back and like this with the wrist they obviously don't have this mental image yeah. because they're spinning the ball on this axis okay that's <laughs> interesting yes yeah chapter three <laughs> To see how if this looks like how I imagine. <laughs> yes. And this is chapter three. So my next tennis match, I'm gonna draw two red lines on the tape so without my opponent knowing. <laughs> I see the I see the lane, the line, the railroad tracks, I see the spin, and I see the window. On every shot, I don't know how I can't remember when I didn't do this. 30 years, 35 years, I am hitting in the window, okay. which is about this big. Normal for normal, I'm not talking defensive shot or some super short ball, which I have to aim lower, but I see a window. The bottom of the window is not here. I don't have a perfect uh, example. Now you can picture it a bit higher. I want safety margin, but the window is about this big. So this is the right height. The umbrellas are the right height of my normal shot. And the bottom window is here. Yeah. Can you go, go there back on the baseline and see how this looks like? So this is my window and I'm aiming in terms of height because this one is their direction. Sorry, say that again. This line, lane, is just telling me direction. Okay. It's not yeah, telling yeah. me height. It's just yeah. saying there along this bowling lane. Mm -hmm. I need now height parameter and I need spin parameter and I need speed parameter. Okay. So I need to find speed and spins because I determined direction and I determined height more or less. And now I need to figure out with what amount of speed and spin do I hit into this window so that the ball still stays in. Yeah. Right. So now I'm aiming in the window. See, and this one was really good, it was like a meter from the baseline. And I store that, ah, this is the parameter. I want this deep ball. I felt the amount of spin because this is more spin and then it goes too short. So I don't want this much spin or I have to hit very hard and it's still short. So I have to hit very, very hard if I want that much top spin to go deep. 
And I'm going to wear myself down if I try to hit that much top spin and I'm not a trained player. I don't have that much energy and explosiveness to keep putting so much spin and make it deep. Yeah. I can put a lot of spin, but it's going to be short. So I have to hit a bit less spin so that I have a bit more speed, right? And I'm aiming exactly in that rectangle above the net. Okay. So as I move around, I am playing and the ball is coming and I have programmed the shot in my computer like a missile. Unfortunately, that's how I can say or missile or a artillery shooting a cannonball, right? So I, we need angle and so on. So I've come here and I, as I'm lining up for the ball, I see the, ra the track, the railroad track. I know where is the target and I know this height. And then I try to thread. I missed, right? I missed. I try to thread the ball with these parameters into the window. So if I thread the ball into this window, then I will be pretty precise on the other side. Yeah. Assuming you get the spin and... Uh... So on every shot that I play, I see this. Okay. So if I'm hitting cross court, then I would have moved these umbrellas yeah. this way in this lane. And I'm coming here and I am putting the ball in the window in this lane. So the window stays the same. Roughly. It just moves around. Yes with this top spin, with this uh, axis of rotation. Now, why am I hitting the window? I think every pro does. I just haven't talked to anyone because the window is close okay. to me. Yeah. I, I don't think it's so difficult to hit this window. I don't, I don't feel a problem. Ciao. Look, you see where that ball is? Yeah. I think that's a problem. I, yeah. I don't feel very sure that while running around high ball top spin, I'm going to Mm, I, I don't feel very secure, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but if we, let's start here, if we come here and you drop the ball to yourself, I'll give you a few balls and you drop the ball here and I ask you, can you put the ball in the window between umbrellas? Like even before you hit, what do you think? Yes. Does that feel very difficult or not? No. So you, you can start here. And then you hit a few balls and then you go here and you try to train your mind to realize it's just there. It's, it's not. It's for sure. I can push the ball in, right? So then you go here. And you try to feel. I feel the window. I feel. I can. I can get it because I feel the line. So it's there. I don't feel it's a big problem. So here becomes a little bit bigger problem. But through years of playing and so on, from here, I think I have like a ninety percent chance. Like this. Here's my racket. Can I put the ball in the window? I think so. If you get the window, chances are That's right, are then I get, get that one. Yeah. That's how I think. Because okay. I, to me, to think that one is far. And I can't connect to it, if you understand what okay. I mean. I can't aim. Because when I will play tennis, I will not look there. I will look here. So I have somehow to feel or orient in space. I have to have some kind of orientation. Where's the target? Is the target here? I'm looking at the ball. I can't see the target. I'm looking at the ball. Is the target here or there? Where is it? So when it's at the, above the net, I can tell pretty well where that is. This one is here and this one is here. I'm looking here. I can feel the, the, the difference between down the line in cross court and short cross court. These three I can feel. But once they're on the other side, I don't know. They're too far. I can't feel them. I don't know how else to uh, yeah. explain this to you. 
Like if you're closer, right? Even if you're closer and you, you can orient in space pretty well because right now you're here, but when you drop the ball, you will look here. So you're looking here, so you don't see, but you, do you know in space where this is? I know, so you can feel that if you know in space, of course I can guide my hand there, right? And so I feel this target in space, I know where it is pretty, pretty well, even from the baseline, it doesn't feel that far. Yeah. So I'm constantly hitting windows, and if I hit the window, then right. the laws of physics do the rest for me sure. to give me the target. Okay. That's at the end. Of course, I have the target at the end for me to create the window. I pick a target, that area, and then I go through the window in the target. Okay. Like you have to go through a small city to get to a big city, right? So let me just give you here a few balls just that you feel this, then we take a break. So, right? Try. Can you push the ball in the window? You can look first. You know where's the window? And then you're looking at the ball. And you don't panic looking immediately where it goes. You can calmly look at the ball. And then every time you hit, you get feedback, right? So feedback is telling you a bit higher, go a bit higher, go a bit more to the left. And you're just aiming. Okay, you feel safe here? Safe. Yeah. Okay, then you go here. And you will see it's a bit more difficult to connect to the window, right? Do you know what I mean mentally? When you're looking here, look here. Look here. Yes. Yes. And then try to feel or orient. You can look, yeah, like a golfer, right? That's what a golfer does. Mm -hmm. They orient in space to see where's the stick, right? If when they're far. So they have to align, okay, the stick. It could be 100 yards, 100 meters or more, right? So they have to, okay, there's the stick. There's the stick. And then they have to look down at the ball. So, so as they're making the shot, they need to know where's the stick, right? Yes. They know they won't hit it, or one in a million, hole in one. They want to put the ball in the green. Yeah. So same here, I'm aligning, I know where's the stick, I know where's the ball, but I'm happy with the green. Okay. Right? <clears throat> yes, you feel safe? Yeah. Okay, I quite controlled, now you go here. You can look a bit, okay, let me extend the ball in the line. We're running a bit out of ball, so let's go here. So here, before you hit a little bit, wait and try to connect, like try to picture. You see, okay, the square is this big. What's the, what's the path of the ball that leads into the window? Mm -hmm. And then send the ball into this path. Yes, and then feedback. Feedback means you see where the ball went and on the next one you, like this one, you would say, a bit higher to the right, right? But you don't know what you do here. It's subconscious. The, the actual physical correction is subconscious. Your conscious is only aim, like basketball shooting, and you just keep shooting, or darts, or something, right? Or golf, or you have a rifle, you're shooting, or you have bow, something that you're aiming and aiming and aiming, and you just keep correcting. Okay. You just keep correcting, but you not need to know how to aim, so. You need the parameter of the height to give the ball trajectory, safety, lift, and top spin, and lane. And you send the ball in this trajectory. Okay. And this needs to be programmed ideally before the ball bounces on your side, that you have the response ready. So when I hit the ball, let's say the ball flies about one point half second. To simplify, it's going to fly about one second to the bounce and about half from bounce to you, right? So you have about one second to make a decision. Okay. You're going to spend three tenths reading the ball to react before your brain recognizes left or right. And then there are just a few tenths more to recognize the trajectory and speed and spin and so on. And then in about a couple of tenths of a second, you have to decide what to do so that your body starts aligning if you chose down the line, or if you chose cross court, or if you chose higher, or if you chose more spin, or whatever you chose, the body needs a bit of time to align to position based on what you chose. Okay. And that last bit is you attempting to position yourself to get the window. Yeah. So all this aligning and so on is based on how you have programmed the path. And then if the body has enough time, it will 
line up well and if it doesn't have enough time because you're delaying your decision then you will just hit because there's not enough time to program the a very precise accurate execution of the shot so the only instruction that remains is hit the ball <laughs> with the string bed yeah. hit the ball yeah okay right it's not enough time to refine the execution of the shot right